Hello everybody! Today, we're going to unbox the Vixing Mini Quadcopter, take a close-up look, and test it out. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So this is a Mini Quadcopter, and it comes with a 2.4 GHz frequency radio control. And it's equipped with LED lights for nighttime flying. So let's go ahead and open up the box. And let's go ahead and remove the quadcopter from the box, as well as the remote control. And there is a battery pack in there as well. Just make sure there's nothing else left in the box. Okay. So now let's take a close up look at the remote control or radio control. As you can see, it's quite small in size. And there are some buttons as well as the thumb joystick control. And there's what appears to be a power light in the middle and at the back is the battery compartment which requires a Phillips screwdriver to open up or release. Okay so let's put that down and take a close-up look at the quadcopter. Okay let's see Okay, so there is a bunch of stuff that is taped down inside of the box tray. And we should be able to just lift the quadcopter off. Huh, nope, it's taped down, so let me undo the sticky tape. And there we go, well, I've kind of ripped it off, but that's fine. So here's a close-up look at the mini quadcopter. Okay, and of course, let's go ahead and open up this packet here. Okay, so first of all, there is an instruction manual. And it's in English and in Chinese. Okay, let's put that aside and let's remove this. So there is a Phillips screwdriver and that will be used for opening the battery compartment of the radio controller.
and there is a USB cable here with a head here for connecting to the battery pack for charging. And we also have some spare propeller blades or copter blades. And of course we have another battery pack. So there are two battery packs, which is quite handy because you can never really have enough battery packs if you really enjoy flying. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the radio controller and put some batteries in it. So let's go ahead and undo the Phillips screwdriver at the back. Okay, so it requires two AA batteries, so I've got two of them at the ready. So two rechargeable and a loop batteries. So let's go ahead and pop them in and replace the cover. And before screwing it down, just to make sure it powers up, so that's fine. And let's put the screw back in. Okay, so now we can plug in the battery pack to the quadcopter and straight away you can see that the LED lights are blinking and we can put it into the battery carriage there just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and power it on the remote control. And straight away you can hear that the port copter blades are whirring. And you can see my control on the thumb control on the remote control or radio control as I push it upwards the fan speed increases so let's lay it down and let's try not to crash it okay there we go it's causing a mess already but it's a pretty durable design because it's got these thick outer uh, guards. So it's going to protect it from crash landings and even flying into objects. It's going to protect the blades fairly well with this design. So it's a pretty good kind of designer or uh, beginner design quadcopter here. So I'll just need to practice a bit more and hopefully maybe show you a bit of flying afterwards.
So that's the Vixing Mini Quadcopter. Thanks for watching and happy flying!